Today I'm gonna show you seven effects you can create in CapCut PC. All right guys, let's get started. Change any color. Video already in the timeline and we feel like changing the color of the car. How? This is how you do it. Go to the right side of the software, click on adjustment, then click on HSL. It comes with seven basic colors. The car in this scenario has orange color. So we select orange and then slide to the left or to the right. You can increase the saturation a little bit to make it pop. And also with the brightness, you can either dim it down or you can increase the brightness. And this is one cool way of using this effect. Turn down the saturation of all the remaining colors and you're gonna end up with something like this. Remove any objects. This may work or may not work depending on your shot. This is a video of a lady walking on the bridge. Command C or Control C to copy. Then Command V or Control V to paste on top of it. Click on the down video and press V to disable it. Then click on the top video. Go to the right side of the software. Click on mask. Select circle or rectangle. Use the on-screen controls to select just the subject or the object you want to remove from the video. Increase further a little bit now we're going to track the mask to follow the subject or the object by using keyframes top video still selected go to the first frame then go to the right side of the software make a keyframe on position rotate and size now go five to ten frames forward move the mask to follow the subject this will automatically make keyframe on position follow the same steps to the end of the video once done play it back to check if you got it all right if not do the necessary small tweak to it now select the reverse icon then select the down video and press v to enable it with the down video selected go to the right side and click on basic use the position x and increase it until the subject or the object disappears on the screen freeze frame transitions this is my favorite among these effects comment down below your favorite so far or which one's gonna be your favorite at the end of this video two videos in the timeline click on the second video take the cursor to the first frame now right click on that go to edit and select freeze this will freeze the first frame of the video change the duration to somewhere four to eight frames with the freeze frame selected go to the right side and select cut out turn on auto cut out and cap cut will remove the background it doesn't look perfect but it's a fast transition so no one's gonna really see it now drag it to the top ending frames of the second video still with the freeze frame selected go to animation and select any in animation slide looks cool with this effect cinematic text reveal video already in the timeline go to the left side click on text select default test drag and drop in the timeline go to the right side of the software type in your text change the font style and size go to the first frame or where you want the effect to start still with the text selected go to the right side and make a keyframe on position then go somewhere 30 to 40 frames forward make another keyframe on position now go back to the first keyframe by clicking on this very arrow use the on-screen controls drag it downwards make Make sure the position x stays zero now you have something like this it doesn't look smooth at all let's make it smooth nice right click on the text select show keyframe animation click on y then click on this to show the graphs take the cursor to the second keyframe and click on it to activate the three options on the top select auto curve or free curve move the handles to ease out more and also play around it until you are satisfied with it do the same with the first keyframe then right click on it select hide keyframe animation right click on it again and select compound clip go to the right side click on mask and select rectangle now go to where the animation starts use the on-screen controls and drag the marks to the very top of the test now click on reverse icon blur faces video already in the timeline command c or control c to copy command v or control v to paste on top of it click on the down video press v to disable it for now then click on the top video go to the right side of the software click on mask select circle adjust the circle to the shape of the model increase the feather a little bit now we're going to track the marks to follow the face of the model by using keyframes top video still selected move the cursor to the first 
first frame, then go to the right side of the software and make a keyframe on position, rotation, and size. Now go 5 to 10 frames forward. Move the mask to follow the model face. Follow same steps to the end of the video. Once done, play it back to check if you got it all right. If not, do the necessary small tweak to it. Click on down video and press V to enable it. Go to the left side of the software, click on effects, then click on video effects. Select lens, choose blur and drag it on the top video. You can increase the blur or decrease it to your preferred choice. Magnify screen recordings. Click on the screen recording, command C or control C if you're using a PC, then command V or control V to paste it on top of the previous screen recording. Click on the down screen recording, press V to disable it, then click on the top one, go to mask, select rectangle. With the mask selected, we just want to magnify the small part of the screen recording, make it as small as possible. Now select the down screen recording, press V to enable it so we we'll see exactly what we're working with. Then go to where you want the magnify effects to start from. Click on the top screen recording, that's the one we'll be working with, and go to basic, then make keyframe on scale and position. Now go 10 frames forward, make another keyframe on position and scale, and this time around we'll increase the scale as much as we can, so I'll increase it to somewhere here, and then we'll use the on-screen controls to move it somewhere on top of it, so the magnify effect will be really smooth. Now I'll play and show you guys what we have so far. So you zoom in, and I click on subscribe. And that's for animation in. Now let's do the animation out. Go to where you want it to end. Click on the top screen recording. Make a keyframe on scale and position. Now go 10 frames forward. Make a keyframe on position and scale. And this time around, we'll change the figures as we did it previously to 100 on scale and 0 on Y axis and 0, 2 on X axis eyes pop. With this, we just want to draw the viewer's attention to the eyes of the model. Video already in the timeline. Command C or Control C to copy. Then Command V or Control V to paste it on top of it. Click on the down video. Press V to disable it for now. Then click on the top video and go to the right side of the software. Click on mask. Select circle. Adjust the mask to the left eye of the model. Increase the feather a little bit to soften the edges. Now we're going to track the mask to follow the left eye of the model. Top video still selected. Move the cursor to the first frame. Drag the marks on the left eye. Then go to the right side of the software and make a keyframe on position. Now go 5 to 10 frames forward. Move the marks to follow the left eye. This will automatically make a keyframe on position. Follow the same steps to the end of the video. Now with the top video selected, press V to disable it for now. We have to do the same process for the right eye. Click on the down video, command C or control C to copy, then command V or control V to paste it on top of it. Press V to enable that video. Click on mask, select circle, adjust the mask to the right eye of the model. Increase the feather a little bit to soften the edges. And just like how we did for the left eye, we're going to track the mask too. Move the cursor to the first frame, drag the mask to the right eye, then go to the right side of the software and make a keyframe on position. Now go 5 to 10 frames forward, move the mask to follow the right eye. Follow the same steps to the end of the video. Now select the top video and the down video and press V to enable all of them. Then click on the top video, go to adjustment, increase the brightness a little bit. And please don't go crazy with this. Now do the same thing for the middle video by increasing the brightness a little bit. This next video will show you guys two best ways to highlight your text in CapCut PC. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.